Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Hey guys. You want to say hi to you? Say hi. Hi. All right, guys. I am here to share with you today my grocery haul for this week. If you've been following along for the past probably, I don't know, six to eight weeks, I have been shopping at Aldi every no! single week. Sorry about that. Because I am on a pretty strict budget with our groceries right now because we are working on becoming debt free. Now, um, I decided today that I was going to go to Kroger instead of Aldi. So um, I want to share with you what I picked up. I was still able to stay under my $100 per week budget. Um, let me show you guys what I spent. I spent 92, I'm not even sure if y'all can see this, 92. 25 yes 92.25 my total savings was 42.26 so that's pretty good i went to kroger today because i wanted to get some very specific things that i cannot get at aldi or my local walmart um so i'm going to show you what i picked up and i will of course point out those things to you they are a little bit on the higher end um, as far as what i what i bought so they definitely raised my total for the day but regardless I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you what I picked up today. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started over here. The majority of what I picked up was either a specific thing that I went to Kroger to get or it was something that was on sale. So this is one of, this is probably my family's absolute favorite bread and they don't carry it at Aldi. I don't buy it very often, but it is really good. It was on sale this week, so I picked up two loaves of this for my family. Strawberries were on sale for $1.50 per carton, so I did get two of those for my family. These two things were, were specifically, were items that I wanted to get specifically from Kroger. So this is the Sweet Drops um, Stevia Vanilla Cream. I use this in my coffee. And then this, um, I've had a hard time finding, so I was really excited that Kroger had it. Um, it's basically dehydrated peanuts, peanut butter, or I mean, it's just like peanuts, um, but it's 90% less fat. So I'm excited to have this to put in my shakes. This, I believe, was $11. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember, but I can, I can find that for you guys. This was $11 and something. So right there, those were kind of a little you know, pricey. I did pick up one of these. We use these to um, clean up gross messes that we have in our house and we were completely out. I got some popcorn seasoning for my kiddos. Um, this is one thing that is uh, harder to find and they definitely don't sell it at Aldi. So I picked up some s'mores halo top ice cream and also some chocolate mocha chip. I'm really excited about both of those. Um, and these were on sale this week as well. These were only $3.99. They're normally $5 a piece. This was on sale, um, 79 cents per bottle. So we got two of those. And of course, I love that there's no high fructose corn syrup in them. Y'all know how I feel about that. I picked up some dressing to try. I've never tried this particular flavor, but the Bolt House Farms are um, really clean ingredients. And so I'm going to try that. Two tomatoes, two cucumbers. I got some iceberg lettuce, some spinach for my smoothies or, you know, my shake, my Shakeology. I picked up some chicken tenderloins that I'm going to marinate and then um, this will be part of my meal prep for myself. Okay, so picking up where I left off, I got two pure protein bars. I really like this brand and I've never tried the s'mores flavor, um, so I got two of those to try. I picked up some dinner rolls. I'm going to use these for a recipe. And then I was really excited to get this. This is one way that I really save a lot of money on our groceries is I buy meat when it is super, super on sale. So as you can see, this was on sale for $1.49 a pound. It is normally $18.23 for this one um, pork loin. I got it for $6.81. So I saved $11.42. That is a tremendous savings on something my family really loves. So I did pick up two of them on this one. The price is normally $20.15. I got it for $7.52 and I saved $12.63. So while I don't necessarily need these right now, I wanted to grab them because $1.49 a pound is the cheapest I've ever seen these. And so when they hit that price, I try to get one or two of them. So that is what one thing I would recommend doing. 
Even with picking up these plus the higher priced items, I was still able to stay under my $100 for the week. So I got two gallons of milk. I got some sour cream. Um, this is my husband's favorite cheese, the white cheddar, but they don't sell this at Aldi. So, um, and they actually don't even sell this at my Walmart. So I picked up two packages of that. And then um, the kiddos wanted some chili cheese Fritos and that's not something I buy very often. So I bought that and Doritos. These two bags were both on sale this week as well. So that is everything that I picked up, I believe. I'm just making sure. Yes, that is everything that I picked up at Kroger today. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I wanted to go ahead and stop into Kroger today instead of Aldi to also show you that you can save money on groceries um, at, your, at your normal um, grocery stores. Aldi, I know not everyone has an Aldi, but a lot of people either have a Kroger or a Smith's or something in that um, line of grocery stores. So you absolutely can save money. Don't yell, please. I know. Um, you can save money on groceries. You just have to really be diligent and buy what's on sale. So that's gonna be it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back with another video for you really soon. Take care guys.